uh, hi everyone uh, and again welcome back to uh, this series of questions about three phase uh, circuit now in this question we will have a y connected source but here we have two loads in parallel and these two loads the first one is connected as y and the second one as connected as uh, delta so let's see the question what's exactly required so in this question here, uh, we have a balanced three-phase system. Uh, the source here, our source is Y uh, connection, and the load uh, is uh, composed of two loads, Y and delta. The VAB, so we know here the line-to-line -line voltage, VAB is equal to 208 angle of 50. And we have ZY is equal to 5 plus J3. And the delta we have here 18 plus J12. And finally, the line has an impedance of 1 plus J.8. So the question find, says find the line current. So I, wa I want to find uh, if this is A, A. I want to find I, A. A and of course I B B and I C C as well. Okay, so that's what is what is required from the line current. But also says find the phase currents in the load. So I want to find the phase current. I will call this is I phase Y, and I want to find I phase delta. Of course, if we find one current, then the other currents will be minus plus 120 phase phase shift. So how to deal with this question? It's exactly the same approach, which is converting the whole system into a single phase system, starting from the source. Now the source, we have the voltage as line to line. We want the source to be only a phase voltage. So my VAN is equal to the line voltage VAB divided by root 3 and take out minus 30. So this will equal to 208 divided by root 3 angle of 50, the original angle of the line to line voltage, minus 30. And this will give me 120 angle of 20. Now let's go to the load. We have ZY, ZY stays as it is. Now for Z delta, I will convert this delta into a, a Y. And now ZY will equal to the Z delta divided by three. So we'll have 18 plus J 12 divided by three, which is equal to six plus J, J four. So now I can isolate this phase. Of course, this delta now doesn't exist because we have the equivalent Y. And we will have a voltage source VAN with this value in series with uh, the line impedance. And then we have two loads, ZY and the converted Y uh, load of the Z, Z delta. So now we will have this basic circuit. So we will have, uh, this is the ZY actually, and this is the Z delta after converting, converting it back to the Y uh, connection. So let's find the total Z. So Z total, which is basically these two together, and it is actually uh, in series with, with, with the impedance. So let's find Z total because your I, AA will basically will be VAN divided by Z total, as simple as that. And IAA will be the same thing as IAA here. The line current doesn't change in single phase or in three phase. Okay, so let's find the parallel combination of 5 plus J3, which is in parallel with 6 plus J4. So we'll multiply them 5 plus J3 times 6 plus J4, and we divide by their summation, which is 5 plus J3 plus 
6 plus j4. Now, when you do the conversion and convert that back into a polar, we will have 3.22 angle of plus 32.18 ohm. So this is the parallel combination. So your IAA is basically VAN, which is the 120 angle of 20, divided by the parallel combinations of the two load, 3.22 angle of plus 32.18. And this is plus the line impedance, which is 1 plus J. Point eight. Now, of course, I need to convert this into rectangular, add them, convert them back to polar. You can do that now. And from this, you will find that your current is 26.67 angle of minus 13.94. Now, the question says find the line current. So basically, your IBB will equal to IAA angle of minus 120 and your ICC will equal to IAA angle of plus 120. So you add 120 for ICC and you subtract minus 120 from this angle for IBB. So we are done with the first requirement, which is find the light current. Now we want to find the phase current. I will call this as IY phase and I delta phase. So how to find the phase current? Now, the phase currents that we will have here, uh, the best way or one of the good ways to find that, find VAN, the voltage between, find VAN is equal to what? Okay, now this IAN is basically very simple. It's the current IAA times the combined impedance. So, VAN, yes, just Ohm's law, is equal to uh, your IAA times the combined, co uh, which is Z load, combined Z load. So it's equal to 26.67 angle of minus 13.94 times Z of the load, which is the 3. 0.22 angle of plus 32.18. Once we found this, this is your VAN, which is 85.88 angle of 18.224. Okay, so I know the voltage now between point A and point N, which is the phase voltage at the load side. So I can find easily I y in the phase is equal to the uh, the voltage 85.88 angle of 18.24 divided by the impedance which is 5 plus j3 and from this we'll find 14.73 angle of minus 112.72 amps now this is the current of this phase, phase I A N, okay, I A N. So to find I B N and I C N, same thing. We will convert. We will uh, subtract minus one twenty and we'll add one one twenty. Now, what is left is I delta in the phase. Now, I delta in the phase is basically the current that I want is this current, the current in the delta. Is it the same as this current? No, it's not, because this is the equivalent. This is the equivalent Y connection of the delta, but that's not the origin delta. So actually, this is not the current that I'm looking for. How to find this current? Let's go back to the original circuit. Okay, so this is my original circuit. What I know here, I know the voltage V A N. This voltage is known to me. Okay, so this is A, B, and C. Okay, so from V, A, N, I can find V, A, B. And basically your V, A, B is nothing but the root 3, V, A, N, the phase voltage, and you add angle 30. 
This is how we can find the line to line voltage from the phase voltage. So multiply root three times the VAN, which we already found it here. This is your VAN. So this is 85.88 angle of the angle that we have here, which is the 18.24, uh, 18.24 plus plus 30 so this is your vab this is the voltage between here vab but we know what is the delta from the beginning of the question this is your z delta 18 plus j12 so this is 18 plus j12 what i want to find i want to find i phase in the in the delta connection this is the current i want i don't want to find the current in the y connection so it's very, very important. So we need to go back to the three phase circuit. So from this, we want to find I phase in the delta, which is equal to the, the voltage VAB divided by Z delta without the conversion. So this is equal to root three, 85.88 angle of 48.24 divided by Z delta, which is 18 plus j12 so this will give me the current 6.88 angle of 14.55 so now we know the current once we know this is the current in amps uh, then we can uh, find the current of the other phases i can find i b c which is exactly the same as this current six uh, sorry uh, six point Eight, eight angle of 14.55 and you subtract minus 120 and you find i c a which is equal to 6.88 14.55 and you add with plus one 120 so that's how we can find the phase current of the delta so you work in the single phase and then you come back to the three phase to find these currents.